Hello friends, I'm Dr. Asha Devi, obstetrician and gynecologist. Today, let's see how easily and effectively we can prevent cervical cancer in women. What is cervix? Cervix is nothing but the mouth of the uterus. Cervical infections can happen to anyone and when it happens, the most common cause is a virus called HPV. HPV stands for Human Papilloma Virus. What is the uniqueness of this virus? Most of the times when such an infection happens, by nature, it gets cleared off on its own. Which means that there is no specific treatment which is required for treating this infection. But in some women, the virus can remain in the cervix and even progress to develop as a cervical cancer. So how do we protect ourselves from the HPV infection? HPV is a common sexually transmitted infection and 80% of the women can develop this infection in their lifetime. So HPV vaccine has been found to be very effective in controlling and preventing the infection in women. As there is a strong association between the HPV infection and cervical cancer, this vaccine has played a major role in reducing the incidence of cervical cancer worldwide. When and who should be getting this vaccination done? This vaccine works the best when it is done at an early age of life. So all young girls, even before they step into their teenage, are recommended to take this vaccine. So the ideal age is between 9 and 15 years and when it is done at this age group, it is given as two doses. What if you have missed the dosage at this age group? You can still proceed with the vaccination under 26 years of age as per recommendation. But you should remember that when you are getting vaccinated anytime between 15 years and 26 years, it is important that you cover yourself with three doses. What is the dosage interval for the vaccination? When you are taking the vaccination as two doses, remember to take the second dose 6 to 12 months after the first dose. And when you are taking it as a three dose schedule, the second dose should be any time between one and two months after the first dose and the third dose six months after the second dose. So keep this in mind and keep your calendar marked whenever you are starting your vaccination for this. What are the side effects of this vaccine? Like any other vaccine, there is a small chance that you can have mild pain or redness in the area where you are vaccinated. Otherwise, getting into serious trouble because of this vaccine is very unlikely and obviously the benefits are more when you are getting vaccinated. So friends, cervical cancer stands second and forms 16.5% of the total cancers in Indian women. So let's all join our hands together and take this as our responsibility to spread this message about vaccination against cervical cancer and fight against this deadly disease. Thank you. Hope this video was helpful for you.